One of the challenges in Africa is still where is the money coming from? What's going to solve our social problems? And precisely we depend on this community of men and women that daily, in a daily basis is doing the world of investment. Today we have with us Mr. Rob Herbert. Hello, Rob. Thank you very much. Tell us, sir, who is Rob Herbert? So Rob Herzog is a South African-born international entrepreneur, investor, who has, after 31 years of being outside of South Africa, come home. I'm proud to be home. I'm focused on Africa. I love this continent. And I sensibly evangelize investment in Africa. What is Invest Africa? Invest Africa is a platform that uh, evangelizes Africa. We have members in New York, Washington, London, Dubai, Geneva, Johannesburg, Cape Town. We organize events, conferences, trips to Africa, and we're very realistic about the prospects. I mean, Africa's 54 countries. Everyone teases Americans about not knowing, you know, one country from the next. But if I walked around here and said, what's the capital of Liberia, Burkina Faso, and Madagascar, most people would get those wrong. So Africa's complicated, difficult. You know, some countries are good, some countries are going in the right direction, and some countries angels fear to tread. If we need to compare what's going around with South African investment against African investment, what would be your thoughts about it? So the last eight years, Zuma did enormous damage to this country. Um, we were very close to going off the edge. Cyril Ramaphosa, one, is our president, and I think he's doing a lot of the right things. But right now, this land expropriation without compensation is a very dangerous message to be putting out. And foreign direct investors look at South Africa, go, great country, great potential, but we're not sure. So it's a 50-50 right now. The rest of Africa depends on the country, the region, the opportunity, the sector. You know, it's too complicated to be grouped into one region. It's, it isn't one. It's not one country. It's not even one continent. It's 54 countries. Apart from China, which other countries, non-African, are seriously looking into investment in, in Africa? And uh, what are your feelings regarding that? So the countries that had colonial interests in Africa are still actively involved. China's done the running over the last 10 years. America remains interested, but Japan has sort of fallen behind. Japan needs to step up its game. Germany has a great reputation, but very disorganized when it comes to investing. And the UK, France are very active still and very important. But I look at South Africa as an investor in Africa and a very important one. And what about the other African countries? Are they investing within the continent? Yes. I think there's $50 billion of intra-Africa M&A, about $50 billion of foreign direct investment, and about the same number of remittances, money flowing back from people to their families. How can people engage with Invest Africa? You become a member, join the platform, interact with us. We make it happen. And uh, from a general perspective, in the years that you have dedicated to Invest Africa, what is your assessment and what is the way moving forward regarding this? Well, certain countries have got it right. Good governance, you know, transparency. They've created an investment climate that makes sense. But they are few and far between. The president of Ghana said an amazing thing recently. He said, we need to stand on our own feet and get our act together. And that is fundamentally important. Most of our readers are actually heads of mission or work for an international mission in South Africa. What, how could you motivate them to bring back that voice of Africa into the countries to look at the possibilities of investment in Africa? So you've got to look at the countries that are succeeding. Uh, Rwanda, Namibia, Kenya, Ghana, Senegal, and follow their lead. You know, it's good governance, it's transparency, it's being honest and open with investors and not changing the rules. You know, it's a real headache if you invest on a certain basis. Five years later, the rules change. 
Any last words of hopes for your fellow citizens, South Africans, about the future of, of the country? This is such a great country. It's got everything. But the social inequality is a big problem. So we need to fix that. And, uh, you know, the, all governments talk about measures they're going to implement. But economic growth solves many problems. We must focus on economic growth. Thank you so much for your time today, Mr. Rob. And we hope that uh, your words fall in the right ears. Thank you. Thank you, sir.